And thank you. Tonight, a group of ministers and others are demanding answers from the sheriff's office. They're angry because the clergyman says when he was pulled over by police because of dark window tinting, he says the officer held a gun to his head. Pastor Darian Bolden, who lives in Jacksonville and has a church in Fernandina Beach, that pastor was not arrested, he was not ticketed, but he contends he and his nephew with him when this happened could have easily been shot and killed. Channel 4's Jim Pickett spoke with the pastor and his supporters and reached out to the sheriff's office for a response. This is a group of angry people, people who have questions, people who have concerns because a minister who they say is only crime for being stopped was driving while black. The traffic stop happened in this area near 19th and Boulevard in Springfield nearly two weeks ago. Pastor Darren Bolden says he was driving with his nephew looking to buy a house in the neighborhood that he grew up in. He says a JSO officer pulled him over because the officer said the window tent on his car was too dark. Pastor Bolden says he told the officer that he had a gun in the car and a concealed weapons permit and looked over to the glove box to show him where it was located. But when he looked back at the officer, I turned only to be facing the mirror of a 9mm glove. He says with a gun in his face, he didn't know what to expect. I throw my hands up. I say to him, sir, I just want to go home today. He says, we all want to go home. Bolden says the officer then allowed him to leave, made a remark that this isn't the type of neighborhood he should live in. He and his nephew were not arrested or charged, no ticket or report was written, and there was no mention of illegal window tent. We asked the Sheriff's Department about all of this. All they can say is it's being investigated and have not released any information. I haven't heard from the Sheriff. I was told that he was going to call. But I have not received a call from him as of yet. Today, the minister met with other church leaders and people in the area to talk about what happened and demand changes from JSO. The greatest threat to black men in Jacksonville is JSO. Our crime and safety analyst, Gil Smith, a former JSO officer, was also at the meeting. I asked him about the traffic stop. If the officer pointed the gun at the pastor, now he has to explain what the threat was. What did you see that was a threat that caused you to point the weapon directly at the citizen? Again, late this afternoon, I tried contacting JSO once again, wanting to talk to the sheriff about this, just to see if they can even confirm that this actually happened. At this point, they say they can't talk about this at all. It's under investigation because there's legal matters involved. They're not going to comment. We're live from JSO, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.